Switch hitter Cattell Marte steps in. Off-speed pitch laced in the left center field. Outman on the run. Misjudged it, and it pops out of his glove. And here's Marte sprinting for second and diving in. Not to start. Kershaw is looking for. Carroll is four for seven with two home runs against Clayton Kershaw. Ball hit through the middle. Marte around third. He's going to score. And the Diamondbacks, who had to come from behind in both games in Milwaukee, jump in front here at Dodger Stadium. And now Tommy Pham. Pham is a 10-year veteran with his seventh big league club. Line to left, a base hit. Carroll stops at second. Three straight hits by the D-backs to open the game off Kershaw. Now Christian Walker. Five career home runs off Kershaw. His 14th pitch of this inning is driven to deep left. Back, way back, and off the wall. One run is home as Carroll sprints for the plate, and they'll have second and third with a 2-0 lead, and Kershaw is yet to retire a hitter. Walker was a little out in front of it, but he's so strong that he's able to hit it, even with that top spin against the base of the wall in left field. Before Peralta could get to it, it was a great read by both base runners. Now Gabriel Moreno, the catcher, conked on the head by the backswing of Bryce Terang of the Brewers in game one of that series. High fly ball to deep left field. Forget about it. It's gone. A disastrous start for Clayton Kershaw. Moreno hit only seven during the regular season. Put a major charge into that one. And Gabby just hammered that ball. Five up, five runs in. It doesn't get any better than that. Goodbye. Adios. Sayonara. Five nothing D-backs and every D-back who has faced Kershaw has delivered a hit and they've all been hit hard. And if you're Dave Roberts and you're taking out one of the kings of the game, you know what your team has done against Merrill Kelly. How far do you let it go? Evan Longoria celebrating his 38th birthday today. And Longoria slams one toward the gap in left center field and out and dives but can't get it. It will go to the wall. Thomas on his way to third and being waved home. It's a double for Longoria. The peg to the plate is late and it's six nothing Diamondbacks. Roberts comes to get Kershaw. Corbin Carroll has singled and scored a run in the first. A high drive to deep right field. This ball is gone, and I mean long gone. The minute it left the bat, you knew there was no way the ballpark would hold that one. He now has been on base eight times in two games and two innings in the postseason. Alec has walked twice, scored a run, he flied out to right field. Here's a drive to deep right center field, and it was worth the wait for Alec Thomas. He earned that one. And it's 10-0 Arizona. Zona. Martinez takes a four-pitch walk to begin the seventh. Now here's Hayward over two. Swing and a miss. Hayward down on strikes. Kelly gets his fifth strikeout. Terrific outing for Merrill Kelly. Fam looking for a fourth hit here. Tommy's been on five times in three games. Down the right field line toward the foul pole. Hayward in pursuit, lunging into the stands. And does he come back with the ball? He does not. Home run to make it 11 to nothing, and it's a four-hit night for Tommy Pham. Two up, two down to the ninth inning. Here is Hernandez, who came on as a pinch hitter. Little squibber to the right side, gloved by Walker. He shovels it over to Frias, who works a very tidy bottom of the ninth. And that is that as Kike Hernandez is the last out. They take a 1-0 series lead in the National League Division Series over the Dodgers. What a fantastic game for the D-backs. I mean, they came out of the chute like they were ready to play in this game. They pitched well, they hit well. Already they've got something going here against Miller. The 2-2 pitch. Little looper in the left field and it will drop in front of Peralta. And the bases will be loaded. With nobody out, even the speedy Carroll held at third base. And Christian Walker at the plate. A drive to center. Outman turns, going way back with a leap, and he makes the catch against the wall. The runners tag, at least the two lead runners do. Carroll scores, Marte to third, 1-0 Arizona. Runners at first and third, and the batter is Gabby Marino with one man out. Uncontested stolen base, now second and third. 2-2 pitch from Miller to Moreno. Is bounced to short. It'll play to run. Rojas's throw takes care of Moreno, but it's 2-0 Arizona. Fam holds it second. Two outs in the inning, but a 2-0 Diamondback lead. And here's Guriel now with a runner still in scoring position. Guriel lines it to center. This will bring another run home. Here comes Fam, and it's 3-0 Diamondbacks. Another great at bat. This time he got a fastball at 99.8 miles an hour, and he turned it around and hit it 104 right back up the middle. So with two out and nobody on, here's J.D. Martinez, who struck out in the first. 
High fly ball. This one goes deeper to right. Carroll goes back. He's at the wall with a leap, and it's gone. It kept going and going and going, and Carroll times his leap. Couldn't quite reach it. The Dodgers are on the board. It is three to one. Second walk, Gallon's given up, and Rojas coming up. Into center field for a base hit. Outman will stop at second. The Dodgers have the tying runs on. This feels like the time. Yeah, now would be a very good time for Mookie Betts to break out of his postseason doldrum. A chopper. They'll get at least one here, and that's all they'll get. And there are runners at first and third with two outs. And the chant of Freddie, Freddie, for their first baseman who hit 331. Full count, crowd on its feet. 3-2. Strike three called. He got him with a curve. Freeman looking hard, he got soft, and the inning is over. Dodgers strand two, they do not score. Two innings from Bruce Dark Gratterall, and now an inning and two thirds for Brazier. Scurriel comes to the plate. He lifts one to deep left. Back goes Peralta, and he will watch it leave the yard. Solo shot for Gurriel. It's his first of the postseason. And the Diamondbacks get that run right back. It's 4-1. to one. What a huge home run that is. And the bases are loaded for Kike Hernandez. The pitch. Bouncer toward the middle. No play. Marte smothered it, but everybody's safe and a run scores. It is now 4-2. to two. Mookie Betts moves out on deck. Wong grounded out and is only at bat as a pitch hitter in the sixth inning. In the air to center field. And the Arizona Diamondbacks, who finished 16 games behind the Dodgers during the regular season, go into Milwaukee and win them both, sweeping the wild card series. Come into Dodger Stadium and come away with a two-game lead as they go back to Arizona in this best three out of five. It'll be Perdomo, the number nine hitter. And that's a good opportunity for the Diamondbacks to score runs. He's one for nine thus far in the postseason. And here's Perdomo. Look at this. Hayward back at the fence. Can't get it. Gone. He hit only six during the regular season. And he wasn't hitting at all in this postseason. But one swing changed all that. Ten home runs now for these Diamondbacks in the postseason. And from the most unlikely hitter in their lineup, Perdomo. Perdomo, who you think doesn't present as much of a threat. Lynn doesn't want to fall behind. Might have moved one. Boom. First out of the third. This is the Diamondbacks' fifth game, postseason game, and they've already hit 10 home runs. And a high fly ball, deep right field. No doubt about this. 2 nothing Diamondbacks. Home run Marte. Third of the postseason. 2 nothing Diamondbacks. Making 11 home runs. Was that ball ever launched? And that was a tape measure shot. Uh, just a cutter that he never got in. Just a spinner over the middle of the plate. Marte knew right away. Well, this is what you know about Lance Lynn. He gives up homers. Dave Roberts was talking about when he came over to the Dodgers, he would be cruising. And the next thing you know, a couple of home runs in a row. Walker didn't miss much on a home run to right field his first time. Up the ball caught on the warning track in front of the fence by Hayward. And here's another shot to deep left. Down the line and gone! Three solo homers in the inning. This time it's Christian Walker. Boy, was that ball crushed. And here's Moreno. Right field, Hayward toward the line, near the foul pole. Fair ball, home run. Now Hayward may be saying a replay is worth a look. Might be worth the challenge. In the bullpen, they're saying it was foul. The umpires will get together here. It looks foul to me because you never lost a view of the ball. A lot of times you'll see that ball. It's inside the line. You'll lose a view of it. The ball seemed foul. The goal on the field is confirmed. Foul ball. 2-2 two, two count. That was a historical call right there. Never in the postseason has there been four home runs in an inning. And a shot to left center field. Back she goes. Are you kidding me? Gabby Marino hits it out anyway, and it's 4 nothing Diamondbacks. Four home runs in the inning for the Diamondbacks. You know how rare it is for a hitter to hit a ball that's a home run foul, and then on the next pitch hit it fair for a home run. And Lance Lynn is just kind of staring out at center field. The Dodgers, they look really tight, and they're going to have to loosen it up. And whatever their chat, their strategy has been, the first two games plus the first three innings tonight, it hasn't worked. A two-out rally here for the Dodgers. Putting something together to a point where one big swing gets them back in this game. So now Chris Taylor, who hit for Jason Hayward. Had some big moments for this team in the postseason. Into shallow left field, it's gonna drop and it's gonna score a run. 
Here comes the play at the plate, and there's no play as the ball trickles through the infield. Muncie scores. It's 4-1, to one, and the tying run will come to the plate. Dodgers doing a great job this inning, keeping the line moving. This ball ran up the label of Chris Taylor. So strong, though, able to dump it into left field in front of Gurriel. Now Kike Hernandez, who combined between the Red Sox and Dodgers, hit 11 home runs this year. Hernandez lines one into left field for a base hit. Rounding third is Smith. Throw is cut off. Sliding home safely is Will Smith. It is four to two. Dodgers may have been lucky that that ball was actually cut off. It looked like it was on line. Mistake there by Thompson. Left this one just over the plate enough for Hernandez to drive it into left center field. Taylor to second. Hernandez now at first. And Thompson is done. Andrew Saulfrank is coming in. Austin Barnes, the backup catcher. The only right-handed bat remaining on Dave Roberts' bench. And chops one to the left side. It's taken by Longoria. And with one pitch, Saul Frank puts an end to the Dodgers' seventh. They cut the deficit in half and trail 4-2. Ready to erupt at Chase Field, Kike Hernandez. For the moment, the Dodgers' last hope. Diamondbacks trying to beat their longtime nemesis, the Los Angeles Dodgers. And the 2-2 pitch. Hit in the air to left. Gurriel is there. The Arizona Diamondbacks sweep the Dodgers and head for the LCS. They have swept them out of Phoenix. They win 4-2 and advance for the first time since 2007 to the National League Championship Series against either Atlanta or Philadelphia.